Hey folks, this is me. If you didn't see my little video I posted, I just wanted to use this for a second because I really do want to ask you a question. Uh, do I really look like a racist? Really? Because I'm not. But I do support our president. And if people are going to turn off, unsub me, and hate me for that fact, that's what they want you to do. Don't you understand? I care about everybody out here. I hope I've shown that in, in my content and, and what I try to do out here to enlighten people. I care about everybody in the world. I don't care what color you are. I don't care who you want to have sex with behind closed doors. That's your business. Okay? I am the least prejudiced person you would ever want to know in your life. And I have many, many stories to back that up. So please, first of all, don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me because I believe in our president. Because up until three months into his presidency, I hated him. Probably as passionately as most of you folks out there do. But then, and my boss was for him, so we would have tiffs all the time. And I would not even listen to him. It got so bad that we were sitting having a conversation with one of our clients, you know, an elderly lady that came in, very nice lady. And I ended up calling her a racist for no reason other than she liked the president. I was so embarrassed and I was so fed up with myself. I left the room, I walked outside and I practically screamed because I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe myself, first of all, that I was first that rude to somebody. And second, now that I know what I know, I had no reason to say anything like that. Because she's not a racist, just like I'm not a racist, just like everybody out there that supports our president is not a racist, nor is President Trump. Please, folks, what I'm worried about the most is there's folks out here that are just ill-informed. You don't have the right information. And this isn't made-up information. These are facts that can all be backed up with proof. I'm not going to get into all of the proof right now because, you know, I've done my due diligence. I have checked and double checked and triple checked things. And it wasn't until three months into his presidency that I woke up. They are going crazy doing this Russian collusion. And again, you know, my boss and I would talk a little bit civilized about things and I would try to listen as he would try to listen to me. But after three months when they came out with their first report, on no Russian collusion, then, guys, then, back in early 16, you know, a light bulb went off in my head. And I'm thinking, well, these are the Democrats investigating their own complaint, and they found nothing wrong. Hmm, what's wrong with this picture? Something's up here, and it doesn't smell good. <laughs> So I really started investigating. I looked at all sorts of information. And most of what I found was terrifying. Most of what I found literally made me cry. Because we have been duped so bad all our lives. And it's just, it's time to be done with this. And that's what President Trump is trying to help us do. You need to see this, please, guys. I'm not an idiot. I'm well-educated. I'm out here trying to help people. I'm not out here trying to cause any kind of trouble. I care. I care. I care. I care about everybody. So please, don't turn this off. At least give me a little bit of respect and, and hear me through. Okay, hear me out, however it goes. Um, I really feel I need to say things because I can't take it anymore, nor can a lot of people out here. It's too much. They lie, they lie, they lie, they lie, and, and people believe the lies. 
I'm really thinking that more people don't believe the lies than do anymore because they're so extreme and it's so ridiculous that most people just don't say anything, but they know that it's a lie. So you've got my background. Those of you that are either on the fence or fully over on the left, again, I was once like you, but I woke up and I was willing to listen and read and investigate for myself the other side of this. And it truly is. And again, don't hate me. Don't unsub me if you have to. But it's really against good versus evil right now, guys. It really is. President Trump is bringing all these bad folks down. The D class will be coming out before fall. And all these people that are going down, they know it. And they are grasping and doing anything that they can to not only get him out of office, but to make him and all of us look like fools. All right, I'm sorry. Let me continue with this. I just had a friend stop by work. We've been chatting for the last couple hours, so I don't even remember where I was talking about this. But let me get back into these crazy subjects here. Um, okay. All right. So I've established that I was once, you know, on the left and I have totally and absolutely changed because of everything that I did find out. Um, and I really, really want you to see again, once again, see my face and realize that I am not a racist. I truly adore everybody and every kind of people. So let's take racism off the table and please do not believe what you hear about the president and racism. It is so wrong. And if I could please direct you to a wonderful young African-American woman, Candace Owen. Maybe some of you have heard of her out there. She will be somewhere in the government sometime soon <laughs> because she is amazing. Go to her channel, Candace Owens. Listen to her. She's been on Turning Point, which is another channel I recommend wholeheartedly to get some wonderful information. She started what's called Blackxit, Black people exiting the Democratic Party because of the way they have been oppressed by the Democratic Party for years and years and years and years. And this is coming from her, not me, but it's absolutely true. She can't believe how they took the fathers out of their homes. And that's why there's so many issues. She can explain it better than I, but please understand that there are people, African-Americans, um, Native Americans, Mexicans, all of them, they're all leaving the side because what have they done but keep them dependent? Yeah, here, we'll give you food. Stay with us. You'll barely survive, but you'll have food. Oh, yeah, we'll pay for some housing. It won't be that great, but you'll have a house, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, but look at how many jobs have come back. The unemployment for all these different minorities are up up, up, up. And it's the truth. It's not fake. There are all kinds of statistics out there that you can find for yourself if you don't believe me. And it's fine if you don't. Again, I'm, I'm encouraging you, please do some research of your own. Candace Owen is her name. She's wonderful. Turning Point, I would like to recommend. X22 Report, fabulous channel. You will get so much information from there. Um, I, I like Quite a few other ones out here. Uh, Lisa Haven's really quite good. Sometimes, you know, I'm not always on board with everything. Um, again, I'm not on board with pretty much everybody. You know, you have to keep an open mind. Uh, again, I do believe in pretty much anything Candace Owens has said because talk about intelligent and knows what she's doing. Yes, I, I agree with everything that she has said that I have heard. <clears throat> so let me just get to uh, this wall. Okay, and how people, and they like to prey on our emotions and how we're such horrible people. You know, we don't want the immigrants in here. Come on, guys. We all know that this is wrong. We all know that the wall has to be built. And, and the ones that don't know, I'm going to explain to you why they don't want the wall. All right? And if you get mad at me and don't believe me, fine. Again, do your research. 
He is stopping the sex trafficking coming over the border. He is stopping the drugs coming over the border, of which personally, we and our family have lost two friends of my sons to heroin, fentanyl, crapola. I'm sure everybody knows somebody that's been affected by that stupid drug or any other drugs coming in. Come on. I wouldn't want to leave my door open and have anybody walk through, nor should we have the border wide open. People come in and you come in legally. We all know certain laws have to be changed. We all know certain side of the government is not doing their job. What has Congress done? Not a thing, but investigate, investigate and waste money. Well, I tell you, there's so many out there right now that are scared to death because they're going down. They're going down. All right. And that's all I'm going to say about that. So, <clears throat> good Lord, let me get onto this one that just drives me insane. <sighs> Infanticide. Really? 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 You think it's okay to just have this baby born and kill it? Really? It makes me ill. I'm all for women's rights. A hundred percent. I believe if you don't know that you're pregnant after six weeks, then you're an idiot. Okay? I don't care how busy you are in your life. If you don't know you're pregnant in this day and age after six weeks, again, you're an idiot and you shouldn't have a baby. They have all kinds of testing that you can do days after you've had intercourse. When I was younger, they didn't have such great testing like that. All right, now they do. So I'm with the heartbeat rule. You know, if you have to do this, you do it before that, before six weeks. In my opinion, and again, this is just my opinion, I don't believe it's a fetus yet. I don't believe there is a soul there yet. That is my opinion. Hate me if you want. But a woman has the right to do what she wants with her body, of course. But once that baby is born, that baby should have rights. All right, enough. That just makes me infuriated, absolutely infuriated, and how these people can talk about it and just think it's normal and it's fine, and they support it. Anyone who is supporting the left is supporting the killing of babies, plain and simple. Get mad at me for saying that. I don't care. But right now I'm just so fed up with all this crap that's going on around here and how I'm a racist, you know, I'm going to tell you what I feel because that's what it is. If you support the leftists, you are a baby killer, period. All right. Get them to take that off the books. I'll think differently. But right now, it's already legal in a few states. Come on. Enough said. Next, the child trafficking, the sex trafficking. President Trump is putting a stop to it. We all have heard of good old Jeffrey Epstein out there and all the sick things that have gone on with him and everybody else that's been going there. Oh, my Lord. They try to say that Trump has been there. No, he hasn't been there to Epstein Island, okay? Get your facts straight. But there's a whole lot of people out there that have, and they are going down. Why do you think these people are panicking? I'm not saying all the ones that are panicking have been there. I am not saying that. But I am saying they have stopped this. They have stopped the sex trafficking coming over the border. 100,000 children going missing every year? Come on, come on, let alone all the women and even the men and the boys. No, 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 that has to stop. It cannot be. He is stopping that. And you can bet it's a multi, 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 multi billion trillion dollar industry. Sick. But I hope every single one of them pay for what they've done. My heart goes out to any child ever, ever abused, period. 
And the next thing they're trying to do is make pedophilia normal. Oh, it's normal to have sex with a child. Really? No, it isn't. You sick. I can back this up with facts. They are talking more about pedophilia. Oh, the people aren't stranger. They're not demented in their head because they want to have sex with children. It's normal. Everybody, let's talk about it. It's normal to have sex with children. Yeah, you should feel good about that. My God, guys, what, what a depraved world that is. Please, if you don't want to help yourself, help them. Help the ones with the no voices that have been so abused. Please speak up and say, pedophilia is wrong. It has no place in our society. No place at all. And now we have these crazies, okay, out here. Good old Antifa. What the hell is this all about? Maniacs dressed in black, funded by Sorrel. I won't say the name. I'm not going to answer that because I'm already off work and I'm just going to let it ring, so... It's going to ring for a couple minutes, or a couple times. <clears throat> anyway. So yes, Antifa, and this is a little thing here. They're having some sort of a big thing on the 17th of this month. And the Antifa comrades, they're telling everybody to come to these, whatever this rally is, or whatever the heck they're doing here. Come, dressed as Trump supporters. Carry your flags. This way, police and patriots responding to to us won't know who their enemies are and onlookers in the media will think Trump will think they are Trump supporters rioting so it's harder to turn popular opinion against us oh my god all right it says on November 4th don't forget to disguise yourself as patriots Trump supporters wear mega hats US flags sick Con- <laughs> convincing police you Oh, wear a convincing police uniform is even better. Come on. Where's the money coming that is funding these people? Well, somebody named George out there has got a lot to do with it, okay? And it's wrong. You know, these MFers, as one of our folks out here likes to call people, they're the ones that are doing it. They're funding these freaks, all right? They're funding them to come in and do this. It's wrong. It's absolutely wrong. And they're doing it. They go to these rallies. They beat up people. Come on. All right. I know I'm older than a lot of you folks out here. But really, do you really want to live in a society like that? Where you can't wear what you want to wear because you're afraid you're going to get beat up? A man in his own store got beaten up by thugs the other day. A reporter got beaten up terribly where he's had um, concussions in his brain. Another one got beaten up so bad he had to have a lung operation the other day. This is serious stuff, guys. This is wrong. This should not go on. And the way the left condemns the police. We need our police. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? No. You call a policeman if you're in trouble, right? That's what we're supposed to do. And no, they are not attacking black men on the streets. That is a farce. That is a lie. All right? Absolute non-factual. There are more blacks killed by blacks out there than ever killed by a white police officer. Facts. Back that up. Don't get mad at me. Research for yourself. All right, what else? And then you have the other day, I sent it to a few of my friends out here. In Baltimore, you have a whole bunch of Trump supporters. Actually, they were that started this. They didn't really go out there taking credit for being Trump supporters. They went out there as Americans, as we all are, and cleaned up Baltimore for these folks. 
folks that live there, you know, they're tired. They, they can't do it themselves. They shouldn't have to do it themselves. Where are the municipals, you know, the uh, trash collectors, the people that enforce the way things are supposed to be? Where are they? Where did that money go? That's wrong. I've lived in Detroit here for many years. I don't now, but I did for many years. And I know there's really bad areas in Detroit that don't deserve to be that way either. Where is that money gone? You really have to wonder. Well, we all know that Kilpatrick did a lot of that. He was a joke sitting in jail now for all the money that he took over all those years, sporting his diamond earrings and what have you. Again, wrong. He's calling these people out. President Trump is doing the right thing, folks. He's doing the right thing. Put yourself in his shoes. How would you like to try to be taking on all this evil by yourself? By yourself. 93% of the media lie. And they lie on a daily basis about him. About all of us that support him. I don't want to live in a world like that. It, it can't go on. Nobody should be listening to mainstream media. I'm pretty sure most of you know that by now. I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But it's wrong. All right. It just can't be that way. And again, he's bringing it to everyone's attention, whether you want to see it or hear it or not. It's what it is. It's factual. It's the truth. And it has to stop. People deserve to live in a safe community. People deserve to be able to walk the streets at night. People deserve to have a clean area, not rat infested. Children should be able to play outside safely without worrying about gunfire. You know, many a 4th of July living in Detroit, I couldn't tell the difference between a gunshot and a firework. You know, we literally would stay away from the windows. It's not cool. Nobody wants to live like that. I know they have that everywhere with the fireworks and stuff like that, but it's still not cool. Speaking of guns, I had to arm myself. Me. <laughs> a person that never thought in my life that I would ever own a gun. When I first got married, my ex had gotten a gun and got me one. A little 22 I had, but he had a 57 Magnum. And we went to the shooting range. Because if I have to have this, I need to know how to use it. The 22 was fine. It was nothing. But I shot the 57 Magnum once, just so I knew what it was, in case it ever was to be in my hand. It scared the heck out of me. Still does to this day. Powerful, powerful weapons. I've got a 9mm now. It scares the heck out of me. But I feel safer. I really do. I feel safer having it with me. I live alone. And it's just comfort. My cats aren't really attack cats, so they're not going to do a whole lot. <laughs> anyway, I hate to even talk about this stuff, but it's just what it is. And then they talk about these shootings, and the first thing they want to do is come and take our guns away. For anyone that's awake, for anyone that's awake out there, we know who's doing these shootings. We know who's funding these shootings. We also know that <clears throat> Pretty much anyone that has ever done a shooting in these last years, and by the way, there were 32 major mass shootings under the Obama regime, if you will, okay? Don't hear about that a whole lot, do you? But anything that happens under Trump, oh my God, oh my God, Trump, you know, you better do something with these guns, take them away. Come on, give me a break. Give me a break. What I was going to say is all these guys... These shooters, apparently, all have been on some sort of a medication, okay? You might call it mental ill, whatever. That's a joke in my book, but anyway. And for the ones that don't want to believe, I know it to be true, their brains can be very manipulated. A certain frequency can manipulate the brain that is on a certain drug. You think they don't know that? You think they don't take advantage of that? Come on. 
they do. Sick, wrong, indeed it is. You don't want to believe me? That's fine. I'm reporting to you what I know to be true and factual with lots of backup. Okay? Again, I care about you folks. I don't want this to go on in our country. I don't want to feel like I couldn't walk out the house wearing something that I wanted to wear. You know, it used to be what? The Bloods and the Crips. Red and blue. Oh my gosh. Wear, be careful where you're going. You got to be careful what you're wearing. Come on. Man, oh man. It's really not like that. You know, I live close to Detroit now. I work in an area. I mean, diverse neighborhoods is all I've ever lived in since I've been older. All right. I grew up in Gross Point. Ritzy, ritzy place. Okay. No, not a whole lot of African-American folks. Back in that day, there weren't. You know, was I ever a gross pointer? No, not really, nor will I ever be. I'm just saying that because I, I know these different worlds. I have, you know, <sighs> I've had experience, let's just say that. And I have many stories I could tell. But I care for people. I'm not prejudiced at all for any kind of human being. If you're a jerk, you're a jerk, <laughs> period. And another thing that's pretty crazy with, um, with all these stupid shootings, that one guy, um, oh, I guess I'm not going to get into it because I don't know the facts exactly correct, but I know that they went to his... Um, Facebook page and changed it from being a Democrat to being a Republican and, you know, everything else that went with it within minutes of the shooting. It, there's proof out there. In fact, Lisa ha um, Haven has that on her. Let me see if I have it here. Yep. The things everyone is afraid to say about the El Paso and Dayton shooting, but she says, anyway, check it out. Check it out. A lot of good information there. Incredible. But you won't hear it out there, guys. You won't hear it on the mainstream, and I don't know what you're all listening to or how you're not educated about these things, but please, I'm not an idiot. I'm not out here to scare anybody or to change anybody's mind. I'm just out here to factually tell you what I know to be true with backup. All right. What is this one? Oh, okay, yeah. This is another really good one that I'd like you to try to check out if you could. Okay, um, this one's about how the media got taken over and how they are so one-sided, all the media. And there's proof out there, too, where um, this is called uh, The Common Sense Show. Check it out. Dave Hodges, nice guy, tells it how it is. He is on the side of, of good, as I call it, the good and the evil. He does support President Trump. But he calls them on things, too, all the time, as it should be. But you know what? He's fair, and he tells the truth. But listen to that. How did the media get taken over? Well, good old Bill Clinton in 1996 overturned the Federal Communication Act. And that's all you have to know, really, right there, because back then you couldn't have but one one news channel, one newspaper. You couldn't own a monopoly like they do now, and they do. And they control the news, and they control what they want you to hear. They control what they want you to see. And what do you see, and what do you hear? Negative Trump, negative Trump. Get him out, he's gotta go, impeach him, get rid of him, do this, he's a racist. He hates women, he hates gays, he hates, oh Lord. Come on. Again, I have nothing against your sexual prep. Your sexual preferences are your own business. But I will never, never give up the fact that there's a man and there's a woman. Two genders. That's it. If you think I'm a bee because I said that, then have at it. That is all there are, women and men. I don't want men dressed as women going into my restrooms. 
I don't want women dressed as men going into their restrooms. Come on, folks. Draw the line somewhere. We got to stand up for right. Principals teaching our children in school that they can choose their sex. Oh, come on. I've got granddaughters. Give me a break. Please. Please. I know you folks are intelligent out there. This can't be, okay? This just can't be. And now, one of the worst things I've ever seen, and I hope I can get through this, because this is coming out, folks. This is coming out very shortly. Have you heard of the hunt? Have you heard of this? This is the hunt, which features Trump supporters being hunted for sport. Just watch the trailer and see how disgusting it is. My God, folks, what have we come to? Are you serious? <laughs> this isn't even... I have no words. I have no words. I heard about this yesterday. I saw the trailer here at work and I started to cry. I couldn't even get through it all. This is what we've come to in America, the greatest country on this planet, and it is the greatest country on the planet. I respect our flag. I respect our national anthem. I respect the morals that good, true Americans have. But this, hunting Trump, supporters for sport. Oh my God. So wrong. Just so wrong. This is all we need. All right. This is all we need. Why can't it just be like this? Why can't we just care for each other? Help each other support each other, believe in each other, talk about things without getting mad, without losing friendships. <sighs> well, I know I care for my Democratic friends out there. Even if you hate me, I still care about you. Even if you disagree with me, I still care about you. And even if we can't talk about things, I still care about you. Please just think about these things, folks. We are truly, truly, truly at a turning point in our world, in our lives. If we let socialism take over our country, we're done. I'm sorry. If the left wins, we're done. There goes your freedom of speech. You can see it every day being taken away. And I just pray that they'll let this video go. I don't even know if they will. Peace. I don't know what is wrong at all with President Trump making friends with our so-called enemies. You know that anything that has ever gone wrong anywhere around this world, pretty much at any time, has been done by the elite, by the deep state, by the MFers, as they're called, the money funders, the central bank. It's all gonna be it's all gonna be gone. It's all going to be gone. They will have no more power anymore. Give President Trump a little bit more time. It's all coming out, and it's all going to be done. That is why there is such panic right now. That is why they are shooting every day. Somewhere somebody's doing something. 
Funny how we don't hear Russian collusion anymore, but oh, Jesus, there's a shooting every day, right? Folks, you're smart. You are. You're intelligent people. Don't fall for this nonsense. Again, I was like you. You couldn't tell me anything. You know, you really couldn't back in those days, but now I see the light. It is light versus dark, good versus evil right now. The evil has been in charge for way too long. There is an awakening coming around this world. We all know it. If you're intelligent, you've heard about it. Countries are all coming on board. What is wrong with making friends with Kim Jong-un or Putin? Please, you guys, they're not our enemies. They don't want to be our enemies. They've only been forced to be our enemies because of what's been done to them by the deep state. Okay? Poor Syria. The man is not gassing his own people, guys. Come on. <sighs> anyway, I'm sorry I don't have that proof ready to show you, but again, do your own due diligence and, you know, if you can even find it on Google anymore. In case you didn't know, two high executives of Google have both come out admitting that Google is doing everything that they can to not let Trump be president in 2020. They are so biased and so wrong that I'd, I don't even know if you can find information anymore. You'll have to go through pages and pages and pages to find anything. Those first searches and, you know, what, five, six, seven, eight pages will all be about them. All be about how wrong Trump is, how wrong everything is. They're our enemy. How dare you talk to them? How dare you want to have peace? Come on. <sighs> the first president ever into North Korea? You know, I mean, I don't, I don't know how the worlds have been all in these other places. I can't guarantee and say for sure that they, these other people in their other countries have not hurt their citizens. I don't know really 100%. But all the stories that they've told us that they want us to think, that's supposedly what went on. But is it? Is it really, guys? Is it really? I don't know. And again, sure, you can probably bring out facts and show me and say, yeah, Tana, shut up. You're an idiot. I'll read it. I'll judge for myself. People don't want wars. You know, just like the song says, imagine all the people living life in peace. You may say I'm a dreamer, but I am not the only one. Okay? I know I'm not. I love this world. I love this planet. I worry about our poor planet. And again, in my opinion, in my opinion, <sighs> the climate change is due to our sun, things that are happening up in our skies, where many of us came together years ago to find out about. And that was not a coincidence, as I don't believe in coincidences. Coincidences. <laughs> That's what's happening to our weather. That's why we have extreme weather. And anybody out there with half a brain that's been into this stuff at all knows that. It's not to do with cows. Or us. Or whatever ridiculousness that they're saying. Alright? Spraying our skies killing our insects and plant life, manipulating our weather, wrong. Wrong. And it's been going on for years. But lately, as I did in my little video this morning, no chemtrails. I'm going to start counting the days to find out how many days we go without chemtrails in my area. Perhaps you guys can do that too. But let's keep the lines of communication open. Let's don't treat each other like we're the devil or that we're not worthy to speak to or to listen to. Please, we are better than that. Just investigate for yourself, guys. I only want what's best for everybody. 
for our futures, for everybody. I mean, I can't imagine a lot of the folks on the left want to behave the way they do. Why is there such violence? Why are they... I know why they're so angry. I know why they're pushing back so hard. Because they're scared and they know they're going down. <laughs> and they have, as they say, the ones that scream the loudest have the most to lose. And there's a lot of folks out there screaming, aren't there? This is America. Be proud to live here. Be a patriot. Love your flag. Love your country. Love the folks that came here legally, that live here legally, that want the same as you do, as I do. Peace, happiness, prosperity, clean water, clean air, non-GMO foods to eat. And, you know, that is a lot of the problem out there is the nonsense that's going into our bodies. Get rid of the pop. Quit drinking it. It's poison. Been there, done that for years, but I haven't drank pop for years as well. And I've never felt better. Get the sugar out of your diet, guys. It makes you crazy. It causes cancer. Cut down if you can't get rid of it. I had diabetes too, which I absolutely reversed. And I pretty much have given up sugar. My one little vice is my cream in the morning. I do enjoy that, and it is a sweet cream. So, I'm not being a hypocrite. I'm admitting to it. But that's all. To where I could sit down and eat two or three brownies or a couple pieces of pie or what have you. I mean, you know. And I guess you can indulge now and then. Just limit what you're putting in your body. Try to eat healthy. We are all going to be growing our food indoors very shortly. So please learn to do that. If I can help in any way, if, if anybody would like to talk to me or anything, not yell and scream at me, not say rude things, I'd love to talk. Why not? I feel for everybody out here. I really, really do. But when you're coming out with movies to hunt us and kill us, <sighs> it's gone too far. It's gone way too far. You have to understand that. This is just final straw. I'm not a racist. I love folks. I love you guys. I love my subs. I love my friends. I don't want hatred. I don't want hard feelings between people. I just want you to perhaps see things a different way, to perhaps open your hearts, open your minds a little bit. If I've touched you in any way with any of this information, please look up how they got to be in such control and how Trump, President Trump, is bringing them all down, taking on the central bank, the Federal Reserve, Taking it all down at the same time, guys. He's making a better world for us, a better nation for us, whether you want to believe it or not. Oh boy, I gotta get this battery in. Hang on. Oh, I hope I don't lose it. Gosh, I hope I didn't lose it. Nope, it's still going. Okay. Phew. That woke me up. <laughs> All right. Well, I've been off work for a while now, so I'm going to go home. But it was wonderful talking to my friend. It was great seeing her. Oh, it's wonderful. Got in touch with a lot of old friends on the old FB that I haven't been on in years. But maybe I can reach some of them at some point. But for my YouTube family out here, I care about you guys. I really do. And I just want everyone to be living in the present moment, enjoying each other, just being friendly, being friends, staying present 
and staying safe. I guess that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to end this. 45 minutes is enough listening to my voice. So, that's me. Take care, guys. I love you. Stay present and stay safe. Later. Ha, <laughs>